Hey guys, it's Stolid Snow Zero, and welcome to another Let's Play video. Today we are going to be playing Life. And, um, yeah, this is not real life, this is Life Life, the game Life in Steam, of course. What else would it be? Um, so yeah, pretty much what you do in. Oh, natural selection for Lilith. But yeah, for what you do in this game is you pretty much survive as whatever animal you want to be. Um, so, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to re record a video of it and see what we can find and do in here. So, this is Savannah 4, I decided to come into here, because it's the only place with people in it at the moment, can't imagine why, um, but yeah, so, let's just go over, um, the, well, <laughs> Let's just go over the basics. It's pretty much anyone can kill you, no matter how big or small. Um, oh look, little baboon baby. Oh look at that! Look at that little baboon baby. It's just a baboon, but still a baby. It's so cute. Anyway, so I haven't got webcam because webcam, my webcam keeps lagging a lot. Probably because this game is pretty high in detail, and even with speed priority. Um, on my webcam still doesn't work, so I'm just gonna, um, yeah, imagine my face somehow. <laughs> anyway, so, but by baby, oh, baby grew up, I think. Cool. So, pretty much what you can do is you have two functions, um, which is this green thing, which you could change to red and green. So, what you do here with those is you can use this to um, sniff um, and uh, mate with others and you can use red to um, claw at others who are trying to brutally shred you to death. But anyway, um, there are certain food spawns around the place as well, so here's one of them. Um, meerkats obviously don't eat meat because meerkats. Um, we meerkats um, eat fruit and the way you can eat, sniff, drink, any sort of, sort of like, action button, um, is, yeah, is to just control, right control, um, so that's on the right of your keyboard, you just click, uh, right control for that. And so, um, you may also see these, um, big totem pole thingies, and yes, they are called totem poles, so I don't know why I said totem pole thingies, but, um, yeah, they are basically, um, totem poles, and what you do, is you run right into them, and then, poof, whoa, I'm a wildebeest. And you can do this um, with any totem pole, um, pretty much, um, and people are randomly roaring, which is scaring me, and the baboon has a bum, yes. Um, if we come up here um, to this little hill, um, please bear with me, lions, do not kill me. Um, if you want to press space to jump, um, and then if you come up to this hill here, there is smoke, and poof, now you're a lion. And you can choose your gender in the menu, which I will show you guys uh, later on. Um, is that a cam- no. Is that a camel? No, it's a wheelbase, okay. <laughs> I should have known. And if I come all the way over here again, then I can be- where is it? Come on, I know it's around here somewhere. Some of them are invisible, so then you can be a meerkat again. It's very nice. So yeah, they, some of these are invisible. If you want to be safe when there's like certain people around like trying to eat your face, there is a totem pole around here and it, like, I ran into it accidentally. It is somewhere around here. <laughs> I just have to be naturally just um, walking around. Uh, in this area, and eventually you will come to find a crocodile, um, invisible crocodile totem. Um, so it is right about... <laughs> to be honest, I think I've lost it. Where is it? Where is it? Come here. Where is it? Right, between these two trees that- whoa. Whoa, okay. You see that in the in the top right here? This is a common glitch. 
natural selection keeps killing everyone and it seems to happen a lot like no jokes like it happens a lot and i think we're about to get kicked out of the server soon um i'm looking for the totem pole um for the crocodile still let's just give up on that there, there is a totem pole near here but i'm not gonna bother i don't know what's going on what is going on here they it, i'm not sure what's going on i don't someone spoke i didn't get to read it because it's so laggy what is going on <laughs> someone just said something rude all right let's see here if i come up to this tree i know i said i was going to give up on the looking for the crocodile finally oh my god i think it's like someone trying to hack like it has been happening a lot lately lately i have it and it's still buggy um lol um i i really am lost now actually let's just sniff where everyone is oh someone's killing someone i have the full game but it's the first time it glitches yeah so it does glitch a lot oh I hope nobody was trying to bite me then. They bit someone else, but I have a funny suspicion that they were trying to bite me. I have played this game a couple of times before, so I so so I sort of know what is going on. So um, this mini cat thing you can get into, but it is very tricky. I don't know what's wrong with it. It is a very glitchy den, um, but there's also another glitchy den. Like on the opposite side of this den, which I will show you guys after I finish having this drink. Yes, that water is a glitch, I do believe. I don't think it was intended to be down there, but hey, I'm not the game creator, I wouldn't know. Um, can I just get out? Yes, you can. Um, and so pretty much, like, this game is pretty basic. It's actually a pretty good game. I've, I've, I play this, like, so many times. So there's this tunnel here is glitch. Like, you can get in and out of it. But then there's like a glitch for the floor. See here now, I can get through the floor. And like the tunnel ends there. But like, I, I believe, see my mouse cursor here. I believe that needs to connect to that. They would be like, like and have lots of um, edges to the tunnel as well. Like lots of, hang on, <laughs> I don't want to burp. Okay, um, <laughs> it sounded like I was Um, oh, whoop. And it's, sometimes it's glitchy trying to get in here as well. Like one time I was stuck in there for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, nearly an hour, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, um, who needs to eat? Actually, I need to eat some fruit. Hello, crocodile, please don't eat me. <laughs> no shortage on food, yeah. <laughs> because they're saying no shortage on food because like, you know, this is constantly food spawning. Like I've came over here like 50 times already, um, probably not that many times. And like the food just keeps spawning back. I mean, like if we just sit here, like we could just literally like, in there's like a place um there's another different server on here called the desert and what you can practically do is like there's a there's a couple of spots where you can just sit there there's water and there's food um for all, for all kinds and yeah it's just it's just really good because like you can just sit there and you don't have to kill anybody and you don't have to do anything but there are some people that are just really mean they they just i don't even want to talk about it they're just mean when they come on, you'll know. You'll know when they're on. But yeah, if we just wait here for a bit, um, then there will be food popping up. And like, you don't even have to stand here and wait for it. It doesn't matter how far you go or anywhere or anything. Um, but yeah, the food just naturally just spawns back. The most annoying thing though, is that like, you know, you have to go looking for food sometimes. And like, um, I think the most important thing in this game is to you basically just want to be able to keep drinking eating and drinking um because otherwise like you'll notice this these three bars up here red is health green is food and blah, 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 blue is um drinks uh water whichever um um so yeah and like l is to change that little thing in the corner there, which I mentioned before, um, in case you don't want to sit there um, clicking. Um, something unusual you can do with the mouse, if you click U, and then use your mouse, left click mouse, 
um, then you can spread grass everywhere. I don't know how useful this is unless you're an animal that to eat grass. Um, I don't think anybody else can see that though. Like, I've spread it along people many times and they don't seem to care. So I'm assuming nobody else can see it. Um, but it's just good to have, like, if you're really, really starving. Um, and, sorry, I'm sniffling. Um, but yeah, if you have, like, I can't even remember what I was saying. Never mind. So, yeah, if you are, oh, like, a wildebeest or whatever eats grass, <laughs> um, then, yeah, you can just click you if there's, like, no food, no grass around. Although it's kind of useless because there's always grass around. Like, look at this. Like, every everything spawns back. Food, water. Well, water doesn't even spawn back. But you know what I mean. Everything spawns back. One thing I like about this game would probably have to be... Oh. Yes, yeah, see, Tizka's also lagging out. Um, the... the, the uh, one, one thing I would like about this game is the fact that you get to be pretty much animals. That's what I like about the game, and that's basically what the game is, being animals and, um, yeah, doing stuff. And, like, I got so into this game, I just practically changed my whole Steam profile. And if you want to have a look at the Steam, my Steam profile, I'll leave a link in the description. It is, like, so ridiculously, like, oh, uh, it's just, I'm just practically this thing now. It's just, like, so ridiculously ridiculous the game is really actually really addicting the only bad parts i've seen people like complain about is either the hackers or lagging out or that there's like barely any people on here because like you know nobody wants to play a game if they're gonna lag out but i've also noticed that like the browser version is completely different to all the other versions and so is the android version i'm assuming would be different as well and different as to if like I don't mean like different as in like the whole gameplay, but just the fact that, um, oh, we warned you. Okay, I better be good in here. But yeah, basically what this, um, it's different because the serve, there's different people in like the different servers. The games are not connected, which I assume is good because otherwise you just get, um, oh, um, but yeah, like, it's just simple, um, and it's good because, like, nobody, um, lags out. Because if it was, like, 20 people in a server, uh, um, but yeah, see that, see that lion over there? They're not doing that. They're not, I assume they're not doing that. Sometimes, like, pardon me, um, sometimes everybody just, like, does this weird thing where they move. Like, they lift their legs up as if they're in the air, and then, like, they'll just, like, turn into, like, flesh and bones. And then, like, they'll pop back, and then they'll turn into flesh and bones again, and so, and so on and so forth. And it'll say, like, at the top, natural selection killed them, and then they are here again. And, like, see what they're doing now? Like, as if they're going to puke or whatever? That's practically, um, what they're doing. And if you sniff, you can also... Whoa! Fight going on here. But if you sniff, you can see people's names, and yeah, it's 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 it's, it's helpful. But it's sort of not helpful if you are the prey. If you are the prey and you want to hide from someone, they can just basically just sniff you out, and you're pretty much just dead. <laughs> and but if you hide in this tunnel, which sometimes it will be, you'll be too late because like trying to get through the thing, um, then yeah. <laughs> If you want to hide in here, that's good, because you got water. The only bad thing is you don't have food. But there is food, like, literally just around the corner over there, under that fruit tree. Um, there's two people out here. I'm sort of scared. Um, as to whether they're going to kill me, please don't kill Oh, no, they're over the hill. Um, but, yeah. Also, um, something helpful about the names, though, is that you know who's who. You know what's what. You know, like, for example, if I sniff... I see orange. Orange means they are I don't know, like they they can they can ease they can kill me, but like yeah, like I am sort of safe, I don't know. But if they are crocodile, for example, like if this lioness was to go and be a crocodile, 
then yeah she, she her orange would turn straight to red if there was another meerkat that is my gender aka male it would be blue but you see how that's purple purpley pinky hot hot pink i think it is um that means they're female i'm assuming or opposite gender so forth like the every now and then like this game has been glitching out like there was one time where you could not play the game with other people it's just constant um kicking people out and there is actually a bot on here too that is supposed to be able to detect um hackers and stuff and if you start hacking then yeah it should um kick the hackers out but i don't think um in pack maximum okay so yeah it's like basically just really really um difficult to play if there's like hacking so like i've been waiting for a long time to record a, a um video of this and like it, it it just goes ahead and does this so yeah sorry if there's like uh, if i cut out or whatever um i might um yeah put this in bits and pieces because like basically this game is just like survive and there is so much lag in the game because like we all keep getting disconnected but like i have the, like the the quality of this um uh, game at the moment is not full hd because i have not got my settings to that because i'll lag like i am now or only 10 times worse than what i am but it's just constantly lagging out i'm just gonna sit here for a minute okay not move Let's explore the map a bit more. Um, oh, also, you may think these trees are just for decoration, but look, you can actually climb the trees. It's a bit glitchy, but like even elephants can climb a tree. Um, by the way, yes, there is an elephant um, totem pole somewhere around here. It is also invisible, so yeah, I'm not sure if that's like a glitch in the game, but look, I can just chill out in, this, in, the, in the tree. I can just chill out in the tree. Look at this. I don't, I don't think this is normal for me. I'm going to jump down anyway. Um, oh, hello. Don't, don't, don't eat me. Oh, look at the cub. Look at the beautiful little cub. Look at that cub. It's so tiny. But yeah, and like the detail of this game is just really good. I don't know if they were trying to attack me before. No, they're nuzzling me. Okay. Thank thank you, Arista, I suppose, for nuzzling me. They're nuzzling everybody. What's going on here? Anyway, um, so yeah, basically, if, nozzle, if you nuzzle people, um, they can feed you. They can actually, they, they, no matter what animal you are, they can feed you, you can feed them, and pretty much you can nuzzle whoever. But if you're, a, if you're the same, if you're the same, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like the noises are so weird when they talk. Listen. So I'm gonna talk. There we go. So see, like, yeah, basically, what was I even saying? It went too quiet. So yeah, like, you can feed anyone, but if you're the same species, then you can, yeah, you can, um, yeah, have babies. Like this cute little cub here. And it's just like, they're so cute. But yeah, like sometimes people annoy you and they sit there following you even when you join the server. They sit near the spawn and they change to attack and they go rah, 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 rah. And then, <laughs> that was so random. And then they, yeah, they just basically kill you. And it's like really, really terrible. It really is terrible. And sometimes when you're sniffing, I think people think, like if other people are around, they think that you're trying to mate with them or something. And like they just sit there and sniff you back. Like, no, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted... I just wanted to see who was nearby and yeah and so like sometimes it does get quite confusing I like that like how many noises there are in the game though like when you run have a listen it's just like the dust just flies up in in your face but if you're a little hedgehog in the desert which you start off as a little hedgehog it's like so so like small Oh no, if you're a lizard. When you're a lizard, it's just terrible. It's terrible. It's just way too small. You have to be, like, something bigger. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see a thing. 
I, I just, I just won't be able to see a thing. Basically, I'm just running around here. I really need to go get some food though, because otherwise I'm going to starve to death. I don't even have to go around running. Who explains to their children their dad is now a mum? <laughs> what? Someone changed into a. Okay, that's weird. Oh no, actually, me and um, Tizga, um, we went we went into a server once, and like, they they chose their gender as like um I think it was like female or male, and it must have been transgender because it still had horns. Yeah, it was a male, and they were like that it had horns. It was a female and it had horns. It was so weird, and like, um. We had a baby, and like, and we're just like, okay, that's weird. But yeah, this game is quite is quite glitchy sometimes. But yeah, it's just it's such a great game. Like I, to be honest, like I could just sit here and play it for days if it wasn't for the hackers and lagging out and stuff. It's just such a great game. I love it. Who's this? It's a wildebeest. <laughs> Lol, can't mate with the cow. <laughs> oh dearie me, what is wrong with people in here? Right, so... I am more than a cow. And what else are they gonna say? I'm a wild one. Oh god. Right, so... Yeah, this is quite a cool game. I will work well. and beautiful. Yes, exactly. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. But yeah, like, this game is, like, so good with detail. And, like, here's another food spawn here behind the tree. Mmm. But I'm not. Ah, run away. It's a wonder, like, you don't get stepped on. Like, people don't step on you. Because that would be, like, really terrible. Like, say, like, I went under them. Oh, I think they're trying to mate, but they just gored them instead. That was, that was terrible. Right. Because, yeah, sometimes you do get confused. Because when you, when you first spawn, it goes on to red. And you have to quickly change that to green if you want to be, like, someone who friendly. Likes it. Right. <laughs> ah, should I just leave this server? <laughs> to protect me. Should I just leave this server? I th <laughs> this is just... Uh. Anyway. Yeah, but... Oh, everyone's doing the glitch again. Um, let's sit down the tree and I'll tell a tale. Alright, this is the tail tree. Right. Something funny. Um, something funny, right? I was in a server once, and like someone was being, um, I think they were being a meerkat or something, and like there was a croc, and basically what they were doing is they were saying like, <laughs> I need to pee, and then they're like, pee's on croc, <laughs> and then, and then, then just like, one of them said, ew, jumps out of the water, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was hilarious. I like it when there's friendly people on here, but as soon as that um, mean people come in, everybody just leaves. They, they, they can't even be bothered anymore. And they're like, yeah, it, it's just, I don't like it when people do that. But yeah, um, let's look at these flying lions for a bit. Ugh, 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 ugh. It's so disgusting. See, this is, this is, this is what I mean. This is bad. Once that, it, the bar, the outline of the bar will turn red. Ugh, okay, that, that was just, ugh. Here we go again. But yeah, once this bar goes down, your health bar starts to go down. If you let your health bar, or your thirst bar as well, you can thirst to death, you can hunger to death, you can get shredded to death by other people. And basically, the <laughs> night of the living dead. Um, but yeah, like, basically, your health will go down if you are hungry, thirsty, or mean people are hurting you. And yeah, it's just, that's basically what the game is. Eat, drink, be alive. So now let's jump! I jumped over two lions. Lion s's things. But yeah, like, I think that's basically all this video is going to be for now. Um, I probably will do another video 
um, maybe later on when this game is not so um, glitchy and there's no hackers and stuff. But yeah, I just want to, um, yeah, um, hopefully um, show you guys what it's like to play this game and hope that you guys um, choose to play the game with a good time. You, you guys taste good when you glitch. <laughs> Uh, you can go around and eat other people's like um, bodies when um, when they when they are dead. But yeah, I hope you guys do decide to um, play this game um, because it's, it's, to be honest, it's a really great game. Once you get to know the game, once you get to play it, once you when you once you feel the game, like you feel like you're actually there. They should do a, they should do this for the Vive. You know the 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 Vive. No, if not for the Vive, maybe the. Oh, what's the other one called? Like where you put the headset on? Virtual reality. They should do it for th for this game. Because this would be a really good game. Because I'm playing this on Steam right now. And yeah, this is just like really... This would be a really good game for virtual reality. Because you could see from the perspective. And when you get shredded, you'd be like... Wah! And then like, yeah. And <laughs> it would just be so cool. But yeah, you can see in the top right, see my health going down. Because my food bar is red that means i am hungry luckily um that's not real in real life like well it sort of is don't don't starve yourself and try this out but yeah like basically you just need to go and eat some fruit and then and then your health will stop going down and then you can you can eat so yeah um on that note um i think i'll end the video there because otherwise yeah, it, this video will get way too long. But yeah, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just gonna just hang out with it with my with my buddy Broken Arrow or whatever their name is. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna sit down. Look at that. Black arrow. <laughs> there we go. I'll see you all later. Bye! Ugh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Boing. 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 Oh, I hit my head on the tree. Boing. 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 Splash. Yeah, I'm in the pool. I'm in the swimming pool. Boing. <coughs> oh, I found the crocodile totem! Hello! <laughs> Lucky I'm still recording. I think. <laughs> Look at this. So this is basically where it is then. I ran into it accidentally. See? You run into things accidentally. Look at that. To get a good view of this before I go. So this is where the totem is, right in this spot here. This is the this is the good spot. Now I'm gonna probably gonna go. <laughs> Bye. Snap 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 snap. Actually, I do that. Oh, by the way, green means they're edible. <laughs>